How did becoming a dad change you? Becoming a dad changed a lot of priorities in my, in my life. I decided now to focus fully on my mental health because I need to be present for my kids. Dennis represented his country on the rugby pitch for more than a decade, but he suffered numerous injuries along the way. Yeah, I think I've been through four to five major surgeries. The careers, I think, they affected me mentally more than they did physically. Dennis was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in 2018. Even before I was diagnosed, I, I usually had uh, periods of uh, mood swings and depression. I would just lock myself sometimes uh, at home, drink a lot, do a bit of, uh, of drugs sort of to just numb my feelings and then it sort of escalated um, at some point uh, and I think that was the first time I, I had, had, had attempted suicide. Hitting rock bottom was a wake-up call for the player. Dennis says the experience pushed him to accept his diagnosis and face his mental health struggles head on. You have been open about your uh, bipolar diagnosis, but also your mental health struggles in a country and in a continent where people don't talk about mental health. There's a lot of stigma, especially around black men and African yeah. men. Why was it important for you to come out with this? Um, yeah, there's a lot of stigma, especially um, uh, in Africa, because when we were diagnosed, it took me almost two, two and a half to three years for me to tell my, my parents, and they came to understand now they are all supportive. So for me, it's just, now it's just about breaking the, the, the stigma. Uh, opening up to it, like, there's a, a healing feeling I can't explain. There's a feeling of freedom that came um, in me after I opened up that I really can't put a finger, my fingers to it. Dennis says he often used cooking to get him through some of his darkest days. I used to watch lots of videos of people cooking, especially the times that I was uh, injured. Chips and chicken masala, tomatoes thinly sliced, done. Onions thinly sliced, done. Garlic thinly sliced, mince, done. During the COVID-19 pandemic, he started filming videos under the name The Roaming Chef. Chop, done. And quickly became an internet sensation. He now has more than 2 million followers on TikTok alone. His colorful and mouth-watering videos earned him the 2022 TikTok Award for Top Creator in Sub-Saharan Africa. I gotta say this, your social media makes me hungry. Every time I see it, I'm just like, chop, 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 done. I'm like, okay, it's done, so serve it to me, give it to me, I wanna eat it. That's the whole point of it. Today, I got a front row seat to see the roaming chef in action. Roaming chef, shall we cook? Very welcome to the balcony. So it would be a simple, simple stir fry, chicken stir fry with, with rice. So now, just finish up with chopping the peppers, which is just, you know. Oh, that's scary. We julienne them, it's not scary. Come try with this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am, oh, it's slightly like that. Not bad, that's good. Yeah, now those are juliennes. These are juliennes? Juliennes. His unique approach to cooking is inspired by top chef Gordon Ramsay. What do you like about Gordon Ramsay's style of cooking? He more focuses on the um, principles of cooking rather than just the recipe. So understanding, you know, when the food is cooked, you can use your ears, nose, eyes, tongue. Like I can close my eyes and I will smell this and know the onions are ready. Oh. Yeah, so now... So it's a full sensory experience. Yeah, it's a sensory experience. <laughs> as with rugby, Dennis knows not everything in the kitchen will always go as planned. Hey, Dennis, you're burning something in the bottom. Oh, is that the garlic? It's fine. Oh, it's... It's a bit burning because I'm talking to you. Oh, oh, my bad. The burnt ones usually chuck them by the balcony like that. <laughs> These are the things that don't, don't make That's, it on the Those are the things that don't make it to the cat. Yeah, you chuck them on overboard <laughs> like that. Hey. Yeah, so that looks fine. There's a graveyard of burnt garlic down there. And then we go the back in with our chicken. But the same lesson applies. If you persevere, the end result is usually pretty sweet. So now you'll be the judge. All right. Mm. Not bad, eh? Oh, this is amazing. Not bad, I can sell it, eh? <laughs> While I'm no food expert, it's safe to say his cooking skills are up to par with his rugby talents, because I'm terrible at both. And then if it's two hands, so it's 
quick. Ah, and ah. while Dennis has no plans to return to the pitch full time, this retired athlete is looking forward to what's ahead. What's in your future? Ever since I started cooking, I've always had a dream of opening up a, a, a restaurant. So that is the ultimate goal. That's, that's going to be, I would say, my legacy. That's something I would say if I want to leave my kids with.